Hey, what's up guys, welcome back to the video. So today I have another Dual Universe Lua scripting tutorial for you guys. And so in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up a OR monitor. Now, for the sake of the video, I, to, so that I don't make the video too long, I went ahead and coded everything. Um, so all of the coding and stuff is already done. Um, and so... Um, I wanted to make it where you guys don't have to sit here like 30 minutes watching me coding and everything. Um, so I already did everything. Uh, there's a lot of settings that you guys can change. And then I also tried to make um, the style of the OR monitor a little bit nicer uh, to what most other people did. It's roughly the same how everyone else did it. But I tried to make it a little bit more pretty, <laughs> if you would say. but. There's a lot of other stuff I could have done to uh, style it even more, but I didn't want to take too long. Um, I did comment a lot of the code um, so that you guys don't get confused. Um, but um, so yeah, I will leave the code on a GitHub link uh, that I'll put in the video description, and you guys can go there and uh, get that code, uh, and then you just you can you guys can just copy and paste it in uh but i'll show you guys what else you have to set up um and then uh go through uh some of the code and show you guys um how it actually works um but um yeah i know there's a lot of you <laughs> that have been waiting for me uh to make this video so it's finally here and um here is it how it looks Ta -da! <laughs> okay so uh, this is how uh, I decided to style it. Um, now the font and everything you can change the font size and then that uh, title up there you can also change. Um, I tried to make uh, the top column like uh, the um, to be like the entire of the uh, the entire in the entirety of the size or completely to the right. But I I struggled a little bit with it and then I didn't want to take too long. Um, to figure that out but so I just decided to leave it like this and up here you guys can see it says OR and then this is the percentage level and then this is the total OR uh, so this is um, in kilograms you can make it so that uh, there's a setting where you can change it to it shows in liters or tons um, and so uh, but it's fairly simple in the kilograms configuration because you can easily see this is 1.3 tons this is 476 kilograms this is 2.3 tons and then that's 462 uh, kilograms and obviously um, this is tier one so we have bioxide uh, hematite coal and quartz and so um, yeah but before I get started I just wanted to quickly um, Say, I saw recently there's a lot of new subscribers uh, that have been subscribing to the channel. I just wanted to say uh, thank you guys for subscribing and watching the videos. Um, and as always, uh, if you guys do enjoy the videos, uh, make sure you guys keep, hit that thumbs up button. Uh, that really helps me out a lot. Um, and also remember to uh, turn on that bell notification so you guys get notified when I upload the videos. Um, and so yeah, uh, so with that said, uh, let's get to it. So, <clears throat> sorry, uh, so the first thing that you need to do is uh, go into the link in the video description, get the code, uh, or just open it so long, but I'll quickly go through some of the parameters before we go into the settings. So in here, as you guys can see, up here, the first setting is table name. Uh, so in here you basically change the name that's way on the top there and then this is um, that uh, table name's font size so you can change the font size if you want and then the table uh, font size this is like the the normal font size like from the quartz and the percentage and the kilogram that's that is uh, what those font sizes for and this is where you can change it between liters and and kilograms and then this max bioxide, max hematite, and all of the rest of the stuff, uh, everything is starts with the max. This is the maximum that um, the the container that you have your bioxide in. So this is the mass that that container can take, uh, the total mass. So the, it depends also on your talents. Uh, so you'll have to go and check. 
but you basically take uh, so this is extra small containers but if you have bigger ones you just need to make sure what's the maximum um volume or mass that the that that specific um container can take and then you also need to check um um what your container prof profic proficiency is in your talents uh, to make sure this number is correct so uh, all of this is currently correct so this weight uh, bioxide this is what one bioxide um, or one kilogram of bioxide weighs uh, so it's 1.28 kilograms uh, for one bioxide and then five kilograms for hematite for instance and so on and so on and so um, this is basically all of the main settings that you will be able to change and so with that said let's quickly go into the code and so in here uh, I will copy uh, maybe the preset of the whole um, of the entire uh, programming board um, also for you guys so you can just copy and paste and then it will also automatically set up everything for you but if you just want uh, the thick code that's in here um, I will have like everything separate for you so uh, with that said uh, the first thing that you need to do is uh, you need to add four containers oh, one for bioxide one for hematite um, coal and quartz now currently um, I did here it's a it is me also um, I would really like them to add it is um, the feature uh, the feature is not in the game but it's a highly requested feature to where um, that they should make it later on so that let's say you have one container but you want to have all of your tier one ores in one container uh, that you are able to like specify what what or uh, you want information from specifically because currently you can only do it this way to where every ore is in its own container um, so that is a little bit uh, of a hassle but that's just how um, it needs to be at the moment um, but um, yeah so you basically need to have four containers and then you need to link all of them up um, to the programming um, board so all of mine are already connected up so once you've done that you need to come in here and then you need to name them so slot 1 is going to be screen um, slot 2 is going to be oxide 3 4 and 5 so on and so on so then you just name them like how I did it and then in if you come over to unit um, over here as you guys can see I have a stop and then a start now in my start I have just unit dot set timer uh, and then um, screen um, and then this refreshes every one second and then whenever um, I turn on uh, the programming board I automatically tell it to turn on the screen as well and then for the stop here I just stop the timer and then I also turn off the screen and like clear the screen as well and so for the tick obviously you need to make a tick and then name it screen and in here um, uh, this is a basic round function that I got from um, from someone else actually uh, but I did change it a little bit not really that much uh, but I'm just rounding it uh, out to um, uh, the power of 100 if I'm saying that correctly um, and then here is the exported variables here but you will see for some reason um, the table height and then the background color I didn't seem to want to like export this to the UI uh, to the parameters tab I don't know why I think it's because uh, you, you can only there's only a maximum amount of parameters that you can export at the moment I think that's why but you can just come in here and change it but this basically changed the, the width and the height of the table and then this is the background color of the, the whole screen um, I just decided to add a background color because just the black in the background to me feels a bit bland or I just wanted to make it look a little bit nicer and then obviously this one is also exposed so this you, you use um, so one is for liters zero is for kilograms 
and then this is where dioxide start so this is just uh, the basic code I'm not gonna go through everything this just checks the percentage and so uh, and then at the bottom here I have my HTML like so and then at the at the way at the bottom I just I'm just setting the HTML um, and that's about it uh, for um, for how you can set up the OR monitor I will put everything in the video description or I'll put the link down for uh, for all of the code uh, that you guys can just copy and then paste into your programming board so I'll basically go and then I'll copy um, I think it's under is it under share no it is under here copy and then I'll just copy everything from the um, from the programming board and then you guys can basically paste it in and it already has everything set up for you all you need to do is just connect up the uh, the, the containers and then the screen and then you're all set um, but um yeah I think that said um, that should be it for this video guys so hopefully if you enjoyed it uh, make sure you guys give the video a thumbs up if you didn't if you didn't enjoy the video, give it a thumbs down. Um, and then I'll see you guys in the next one.